Hello everyone, welcome back to Saturday Night Factional Fight Plays Worm Online. My name is Brian, this is my brother Adam over there. And since last episode we showed you that we did, we did manage to finish the, at least the terraforming of the house, and I was excited to show you just what it takes to build a house. And that's what we're going to start right away. And as you can see, we flattened out all this land. And we want to show you uh, the skill necessary to create a house is either, what is it? It's carpentry or masonry. I believe it takes the top skill. And your skill matters when building a house because your skill will determine how large of a house you're allowed to build. Now, luckily, there's this a handy uh, calculator. I'll turn on the screen region here at wormtools.com and as you can see this will be this will be the kind of the size of our house and it says down here that we need 65 carpentry and or masonry to build this house. Luckily when I check my skills I do meet the requirement of 65 carpentry. So let's build this house how do you do that first thing you have to do is activate your mallet I think it's the mallet I don't think a hammer works in this case do you remember that I don't know pretty remember. sure a hammer works yeah well maybe some of you can say <laughs> if it does in the comments or not anyway all you got to do now that I have my hammer uh, activated is just right click any tile that I want to start a house plan on and just say plan building so I'm gonna do that and as you can see it starts just on that one tile the building plan and I just have to do that on every single tile that I want to have the house so I'm gonna match up the screen uh, I mean this uh, plan that I have on the, the website there I'm just gonna copy that into the game so I'm going to turn off that website for now yeah so I just checked my hammer and it does in fact work okay <laughs> you and your hammers hey I am a blacksmith you know <laughs> so right now uh, it's just a plan right it's not uh, a, a type of house yet. We're not telling it whether it's going to be stone, we're not telling it it's going to be carpentry, we're just laying down where we want that house to be. That's all we're doing. Now this is somewhat of a big house. When you start out in this game you probably will not be able to build a house this big. Um, however, there is a workaround. If you don't have the skill uh, to plan a house, you can get somebody to plan a house for you. And if you finish the house, then you will still be the owner. That's true. That's true. This is I know exciting. you planned a couple houses for some people. Yeah, this looks yeah nice. I did it a, a couple times. I don't think I've ever built a house this big, though. For us, this is the first time we're visualizing it with you. Yeah, uh, we've never put it down. It, it looks quite so nice. So far, think? yeah, I like it. I mean, you know, Other we discussed a little bit before how we would like it to look, but this is the first time we're actually seeing it. Yeah, it looks quite nice. Awesome. So, at this point, I can finalize the plan by clicking any part of the plan. Once I do that, I can't change the layout. So, are we good? Yep. I <laughs> think we're good. Here we go. Done. Instantly, you will get what's called a writ of ownership in your inventory. Let's see. We can manage Whoa. What name should we should we call this? 
Oh, we have to choose a name now? Thiran and Griffith. How about Fay and Grip? <laughs> Grip. <laughs> Come on, put the H. Okay, Griff. Uh, I don't know. You don't know estate. how many times I get that. All right, estate sounds nice. That can be changed at any time. I yeah, believe. you can change the name of the house at any time. So this is this is this is good so far. I am I like ready to build. When you name the house, you mm -hmm. scroll over the house and it actually says. It tells you the name of the house. The house. Right. So when you're like driving by and you see somebody's house, you just scroll over and it might say their name over it or their deed name or something. Mm hmm You can almost tell sometimes who ha whose house it belongs to. So I got my mallet in hand. I'm ready to build this house. Let's do it. Uh, I think we're missing something. We don't have any materials to build this house. You're right. Uh. mentioning I guess we can't build the house yet <laughs> we need to actually go out and build the materials first and for that we're gonna have to decide now whether we want a wood or a stone house I mean that's not entirely true because in this game it's not picking the style of house that you want, but you actually get uh, more customization than that. You can pick per wall whether you want it stone or wood. What do you think we should do? I don't know. I'm leaning towards the idea of a stone front. So when you're out here in front, you see, stone. You see a stone front. But everything else is wood, so that when you're inside, you get that rustic feel of that, you know, half stone, half wood house. Do you want stone in the back? And then, like, back in front, and then wood we can put on each side? I don't know. I mean, or do you want the I think whole we've discussed, back wood? We've discussed what we're doing in the front here. I think this area is going to be nice and open. Uh, I don't know, what do you think about stone archways and uh, this area, all stone, this entranceway, all stone, but then when you enter the house, the rest mm -hmm. is wood. I guess we can do that. So the entire front is stone. That means that we would have at least one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And nine then tiles. These ones should be stone. Ten, eleven, twelve. And potentially the interior walls that are going to go here. Thirteen, fourteen, interior. fifteen, See, I don't, I, sixteen. I haven't built a house in a while, and the interior walls is something that just came in recently. I haven't. Uh, we'll play around with, with them and show you guys on screen. But we can't put them in until after the house is done. So, what did I say? 16? 16 stone. <clears throat> you want to do are the you, math here? <laughs> are you counting the Are you counting the yeah. interior walls? Or? Yeah. Yeah. So write down 16 stone. Okay. Are you going to write this down, or am I going to write this down? You're going to write this down. You're the math person. Oh. <laughs> All right. 16 stone. <laughs> I'll count uh, six. Six, ten, nine, twelve. Hopefully, I'm doing this right. 
12. 16 I counted right. 12 plus 12 is what? 12 plus 12 is 24. 24. So 24 wood. Wood. I always find it pays off to count twice. It's like, it's a kind of like that rule of the thumb that you have in real life when your right, carpenters right. follow this rule. You know, you measure twice. Well, cut I know once. I've got four on this side. I know I have six on this side. That equals ten. Plus two more on this side is twelve. Times that, that by two for the other side. That measure twice, cut once. You don't know how many times that'll save you in this game. <laughs> so. We must say that there's many different kinds of walls, but each one takes the same amount of material to make. So no matter what, it's either going to be 20 planks and one large nail for a wood wall. And let me, 20, let me write this down. 20 planks, mm -hmm. one nail. Or 20 stone bricks and 20 mortar. For one stone wall. So with that, can you do the calculations mm -hmm. and tell us how much of each do we need? It'd be nice if I had a calculator with me. Oh, I do have a calculator right here. Of course you do. Mm hmm It's actually my phone. <laughs> All right, 16 stone walls. Mm -hmm. What's the damage times here? Times 20 of each, so that's 320 stone bricks. Mm -hmm. uh, that means the same amount for 320 mortar. mortar. Now, mortar is made up of Ooh. clay and sand. And each clay gives you two mortar. So we're really only going to need half that many, half that amount. So 160 clay, mm -hmm. and each sand has is it 20 mortar? Yes. So 320 divided by 20. We only need 16 sand. Now it would probably be beneficial to get a few extra of each just in case, because as we know, if we fail, we lose some of the material. Um, the 320 stone bricks, that shouldn't be too bad. 160 clay, that's actually pretty good, considering there'll be two of us going at it. That's only, you know, under 100 each. And sand, that'll take two seconds. We just gotta locate these resources in order to, uh, you know, harvest them right. and then cart them back. Luckily, we have a cart with horses. That's going to help a lot. How about planks? Eesh, yeah. yeah, planks. That's a little bit more. We've got 480 planks, 24 nails. planks. Yeah, that's not so bad because each log will give you six planks. Well, I'm glad you're here. So that's only 80 logs. Each tree gives you eight logs, so, or just like seven logs or something like that. We're talking like, you know, t 11 trees worth of planks. <laughs> That's not so bad. Well, again, I'm glad you're here because I just get lost <laughs> with these numbers, but it does sound like a lot. So in total, we need clay, sand, planks, large nails to build and the bricks. outside of the house. And bricks. And bricks. And bricks. Don't forget the bricks. <laughs> so, oh, so let's let's say we we've covered a little bit about how to get planks. You just chop a tree, and you saw use a saw <coughs> to take the logs. You use a saw and turn them into planks. So easy enough. Sand and clay a little bit harder, right? Because clay, like where do you get clay? I haven't seen it yet. Well, clay is a natural resource. Uh, there are specific tiles, kind of like dirt tiles, but or rock tiles, but there's clay tiles. Um, you usually find it near water. So we need water. We need water. Um, you know, that's... Let's head to water. Something we're going to have to search. 
before, but generally if you find a body of water and you just start going around the shore, you'll find some clay, chances are. Ooh, we got spiders everywhere. Spiders, spiders, spiders. Yeah. Well, this cart should be able to outrun most things, but uh, <laughs> we'll have to fight off what we can't run out or outrun. I hope so. Let's do it. Let's find some water. Now, on this journey, I think that we can spend a little bit of time talking about houses. I mean, that's the topic of today's uh, video cast. Mm -hmm. uh, well, what do you think would be the benefit for a new player uh, to build a house for himself? Oh, that's a hard question, right? Especially for a new player to answer. I mean, at, at first, I didn't think there was much benefit when we first started. But then, uh, over time, you start realizing a number of benefits. One would be... Uh, I mean, the obvious one would be that you're isolated from the, the wilderness, so you, you won't get attacked while you're in the house. That's what's like protection shelter. Yeah. Oh, wait. Go, go left a little bit. Is that... What I think it is. Left oh. a little bit? Yeah, against the mountain there. Or is that gravel? I see gravel. Okay, that's gravel. Wait, sorry. So protection. Mm -hmm. What else is there? There's... You, you start realizing the benefit of... There's the benefit of... Uh, what is it called? Beds. Ah, What's the beds. benefit of beds? Oh, you're asking me. Yes. What's the benefit of beds? <laughs> this is something that it took forever for us to get into. Beds are actually very difficult to make as a new player. Um, and it took us a while to figure out why anybody would want to sleep. But um, sleeping allows you to accumulate something called sleep bonus, which is a, an experience bonus uh, yeah, that, that you're the, able to toggle on. That's similar off. to like what you would get in like rest experience, right? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like how yeah, rest experience in most common MMOs. You oh, there's a bed right there. <laughs> um, so you would if you go to bed in a or you go to sleep in a bed or log mm -hmm. off while sleeping, then you accumulate uh, sleep bonus. It's actually a really slow accumulation, but um, you can bank up to five hours that you would toggle on uh, and as you're skilling you'll get quite literally double the amount of skill you normally would so, so it's a and you, you bank like while you're sleeping so while you're like how do you sleep did, you, did we say uh, that? you just yeah you right click the well first of all the bed has to be in a house like those beds back there that you saw. Wait, there's requirements, right? Yeah. You can't build a head, a build a bed. The you can't build a bed outside of a house. You have to build it in an in in a complete house. Mm -hmm. So those beds back there that are just sitting there, those used to have a used house. Used to be in a house. <laughs> yeah, and the house it. just rotted away. <laughs> Imagine the the house. The bed lasted longer than the house. That's yeah. pretty funny. Yeah, but sleep bonus is something that everybody's sort of, you know, like striving for. So all you do is log out of the game. Yeah, like log out of the bed, game, right? Yeah, it's uh, about every twenty-four minutes you get one minute of sleep bonus. Uh, so in a twenty-four hour period, uh, you might get a half hour, around a half hour, of sleep like bonus. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. I don't know. We haven't experimented with that. Is uh, I thought it was sometimes. two minutes of sleep bonus. Oh, is it two minutes? So maybe it's an hour for every twenty-four four hours. Something like that, anyway. Yeah. That I, sounds about we use it. We don't really calculate how much you get per day. No. Um, here's water. Yay, water! I don't see dirt. 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 No sand. Which way do you want to go? Uh, let's South go north. or north. North. Let's do it. Yeah, so you could... 
So beds are, are, are you know, a pretty big function. Can you think of anything else that, you know, newbies yeah. might not know about houses that you would want to have a house for? We talked about protection and, um, yeah. you know, there's, there's more to that. I mean, there's obviously the protection from animals and this hellhound that's about to kill us. But um, as we mentioned before in this game, if you drop something, anybody can come around and pick it up, right? It's not safe. But if you yeah. put something in a house, uh, you're given the ability... Oh, wait, one second. Stop for a second. Yeah. I just saw something. Sorry, if you put something in a house, then you can lock the doors and nobody's going to be able to pick that up. Sorry, it's really dark right now. Still dark. I just found a mushroom. Two mushrooms. You're not on the cart. I know, I told you to stop. <laughs> I, I now have this listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> You're just not paying attention to what I'm saying. <laughs> Thanks. Get on, get on, get on. All right, go, go, go. So as I saying, yeah, you put something down. You can drop stuff, and no one can come and take it from Nobody you. Nobody can come pick it up. Your you house could. has like, you can allow certain people in your house. You don't have to allow everybody in, right? You can put yeah. locks on it to pretty much keep the people you don't want. Uh, oh my god. Dig clay at this corner. Here's clay. We found oh, it. This is, somebody put down a sign. Nice. nice. We got a spider that we're going to have to kill because he's pretty much going right. as fast as the cart is. Let's take it out. I am lagging big time. It's really dark, isn't it? <laughs> it's like in the middle of the night. Let's find out what time is it. it looks like it's getting brighter. Time. <gasps> In the game, it is. <laughs> you think it's getting brighter, and yet it's 2100 hours. Oh, so then it's getting darker. <laughs> it's getting darker. Okay, so I guess my point was that it's still a little bit bright on my screen anyway. It's really dark. Maybe I should turn on my. Uh... Where's my steel and flint? So if I recall correctly, clay doesn't actually go. drop like dirt does. When you dig it, it won't you get, get lower. an endless supply. Except you just when dug a dirt, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I just dug a dirt. So if if I dig, that's why it says dig at this corner. Don't you listen to the signs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should bring the cart back. Oh well, dig at this corner. Why? Uh. All right. I'll just trust the sign. And it worked. So the reason why I stopped before is because I saw s some mushrooms. Yeah, but what are mushrooms good for? I don't know. I just never been. I've never seen a mushroom before in the wild. <laughs> Let's dig out some clay. So before we forget, how much clay did you say that we each would have to get, and then maybe pad mm -hmm. it up? A little bit. Yeah. A total of 160. 160? So let's say 200. Let's each get 100. So I, I can think of another thing about houses. Okay. And I, I didn't realize this at the start, and we still kind of didn't... Now let's look at the... <laughs> let's look out into the, the water. It looks better. Mm -hmm. I didn't really think about this much, uh, and that was that the items that you put inside your house mm -hmm. actually decay at a slower rate. Oh. Do you know I that? I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that. For example, I don't know if this works for every item, maybe somebody in the comments can can tell us, but I know... Uh, it at least works for bulk storage bins. Okay. Food so bulk storage, storage bins, bins like inside those things, houses will will decay slower. All right. Then outside, outside they seem to just, you know, get ruined so quickly. Mm. Even in, in an enclosed off area, because at at our place, at a place that we you know used to have. 
we would have our house uh, and we put like maybe two bulk storage bins in there and then we'd have the rest of our bulk storage bins outside because uh, you always like the idea of being able to forge you know be outside while you do your work you don't want to be constrained yeah. and look at drinking walls all day that was always a big thing of mine i always like to have an outdoor work area as opposed to setting up a inside a shop but i noticed that i would have to repair those freaking outdoor bulk storage bins all the time and the ones mm. inside would just be fine hmm. interesting Well, we should consider that when we're <laughs> constructing this place. I think we should have indoor area. Indoor storage area, sure. Oh, well, looks like we're going to have enough room to make separate rooms. Mm hmm So... I will tell you, the way that we've designed this is that we want to make one house but make it seem like two different houses. Mm. So we'll each have like a side. A wing, if you will. <laughs> yeah, a wing. <laughs> and we're going to completely isolate off our mine. So make it like a personal mine that mm -hmm. no animals or anything can get into. And yep. I think in the end it should look nice. How many clay do you have so far? 31. So it's slow going, but it's getting there. All right. Should be good. This is still going to take a little while, isn't it? Yeah. That's all right. This is pretty fun. I mean, just while we're digging here, all I'm thinking about is, you know, how we'll design those rooms and like we were just talking about storage area and we'll need like, we'll each get a wing. So I'm like thinking, how am I going to design my own little wing? <laughs> Well, another thing you can say, like, can you think of any other benefit for a house? Mm. And that, yeah, and that's kind of disappointing, right? No, I mean, I, I could probably think of a couple more. Uh, yeah. One is actually a really, really big one, and that is, um, it sort of claims the land for yourself. Mm -hmm. In this game, land can be owned and you own it by planting a deed but one restriction is that you cannot plant a deed on top of somebody else's existing house so even if you're a free to play player or you know you're under the freemium model right. uh, in which case you cannot own land you cannot own a deed but you can build a house and prevent anybody else from owning that land so it does sort of claim the land for yourself because maybe one day you do want to put down a deed um, but for now you just want to play free to play which is perfectly fine uh, the game mechanics allows you to sort of set aside that land for yourself and claim it using a house um, you know so what is a deed then well, as I said, it's a. It's, it's is it just it's just a way to what? I mean, it's similar to the writ that you're holding right now from that house. Yeah. You get a form, and it and it uh, um. It allows you to plant a deed onto a certain number of tiles, and once that's done, you, I mean, you pay you have to pay silver, which is the in-game currency, and you own land. So you. Uh, there's there's uh, like a ton of benefits like for example nothing no structure will decay on a deed and nobody can pick up anything that you place down on a deed so you can put all of your belongings on a deed and nobody can come and pick it up at least this is on the freedom server 
not on the PvP server. Which is what we're always talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know we're going to have some people who play PvP who are going to... They can comment below and tell us what it's yeah, like on that. Yeah, they can comment all they want. You know, <laughs> but that's... They can tell us what it's like because we have no idea. We yeah. only have heard what it could be like. Yeah, I personally have no interest in... I mean, the the argument that I've seen before and that I'll that I sort of agree with is that um, if I'm going to invest my time building this structure, building this house, terraforming the land, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to log in the next day and see it's the walls bashed in, and uh, you know anybody can grief you, which means that they can just come and drop all this dirt all on top of everything that you terraformed. I mean, not that they would; it's just that they do have the ability to do that. And but how about the excitement? Oh yeah, the excitement the, coming like, on. And... You can do that to somebody else. <laughs> you have the ability. Yeah. Uh, you sure. can control yourself and, and the kingdom around you. You know. Sure. I um, mean, if you are the type of person who likes to who likes to retaliate against other people or who like to, I just, I'm just not that type of person. You know, like if that happened, I if I logged on and that happened to me, like my first thought. I know that most people's first thought is like, who, who the hell just did that to my stuff? My mm -hmm. first thought is, look at how much work is gonna like that I've done is ruined, and how much work it's gonna take to rebuild it. And at that point, I'd probably, I'd probably rage quit. <laughs> I'd like to see that. <laughs> seek out retaliation. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that there's the option to be on the freedom server and. Uh, you know, if I was on a PvP server, if I chose PvP server first and that happened to me, I'd probably switch right away to a freedom server rather than go and retaliate because chances are I'd go and try to kill that person and end up getting my butt whooped and it would just make things worse, I guess. I don't know. Right. Right. I mean, this game is... Don't get me wrong, I love PvP in other games. I've talked about this before. Um, but not in games where the playing ground is not fair. Or at least close to fair. Um, in this game, if you spend your time on a PvP server, then you have spent your time honing your fighting skills and getting the gear that you need in order to compete. Because if you don't have that gear, and you don't invest that time and potentially money, then you'll just get your ass handed to you. People like to do that, though. They like to invest the time to get their fighting skill up and to get the the best armor so that they compete compete in PvP. And I must say that the Epic server I wouldn't think would be a grief fest. It's um, it's a kingdom based uh, PvP land, right? You join a kingdom. You have kingdom protection. At least that's what I think it is. I suppose. <laughs> and they have a faster skill level up. Mm. The XP curve that goes... Well, how are you doing up there with uh, your clan? I lost count and I've thrown it in with yours. We're at 322 weight. <laughs> Can't you just see how much that is? Nope, because I combined a bunch. Oh, you combined a bunch? I'm gonna so combine what does that mean? a bunch more. Uh, each clay is two weight. Oh, I can't. So how much did you say we needed? We just need double that in weight. I don't remember if you wrote, did you write down? How much clay did it say? We said oh. 200 clay, meaning we need 400 weight. Yeah. So we're almost there. You said we had 300 and something? 330. 330. I'm holding 44, and you're holding... Okay. I just dumped it in, so I'm holding 8 more. Oh. Well. So. Oh, well. So you should have combined well, it. I think that we should talk a little bit about... Maybe... Is there anything that you don't like about the houses? Um... <laughs> don't like... I mean, I'm not going to say that I don't like the, anything about the houses as much as I wish there was just more 
reasons for you to have a house. I think mm. I, I wish that the ta like they, there was more tables and chairs and decorations that you could mm. put around your house that didn't just that automatically awesome. fall on the floor. Um, Is it bad that I'm just combining it all? Just realize that the, the quality is suffering, but oh well. That doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know. So you're talking you about think? like the actual customization? I yeah. There, you know what? I I've, I've said this before as well. I think that like while there's a ton of customization in this game, there always could be more. I mean, we're choosing between two types of walls: wood or stone. And each wall has the ability to be an arch wall. Um, a, wi uh, a window. Uh, there's a couple different types of doors. Um, but when it comes down to it, there's only stone and wood. And when you're yeah, walking through the, the world, house. yeah, when you're walking through the world, there's really only stone and wood. All right, let's I'm go. Let's go. We got enough. Oh, we're done. All right, let's well. go. You want to go north or south to find sand? I don't know. I don't know this area very well. Um, Take your pick. I meanie, mean, meanie, miney, mo. <laughs> <laughs> Which north? way do I go? I don't know. Let's try. North. I mean, we can go right to that mountain just to see if there's any sand there. If there's none, then uh, yeah. it does yeah. kind of look all, you know, finished. The sand. Uh, act like clay, so if you dig it, it doesn't go down, or does it go down? Like, does it, it lower? It goes down, so as we... Uh, there's nothing here. As we look for the for the sand, this is how sand works. Sand is exactly the same as dirt. All right, so okay. it has all the characteristics of dirt, uh, meaning that if you dig it, it will dig down and eventually hit the rock or water. Or if you now here here's the kicker. You can take one sand tile, and if you drop it down on dirt, uh, it raises the dirt by one, and it turns the four tiles around you into more sand tiles. But if you picked up a dirt and dropped it on sand in the same spot, it would then convert those sand tiles back t to dirt. So it allows you to easily create sand and easily create like turn it back to dirt with uh, a, a not that much uh, not that many you know materials for either. Yeah like I you just, can you can create an entire desert uh, people nearby have like we've had a desert created and all you would need to do is start with one single you know piece of sand you would drop that sand it would create four sand tiles you would dig once you would move over and drop it again it would make That's four right. more tiles and you would just continue that process and you would only need to start with one piece of sand so really the question is why doesn't anybody around here have any sand tiles <laughs> All I'm seeing is dirt after dirt. Yeah, I mean, like, if anybody wanted... What was an anvil in the ocean? Okay, so all you would need is one <laughs> single sand tile. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> we just need one. If we have one, we can bring it back to our place and create an entire sand pit for us. Does that look like sand? I don't see what... It's oh. sand. You're right, it is sand. Uh, are we going to ruin this guy's... Uh... I don't know. He's not going to care if we just take one, right? <laughs> Let's try to make it <laughs> as gonna inconspicuous take, as I'm going to take one. Alright, we're good. We got one heap of sand. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Before you know the truth. I'm just kidding. He's not in the local. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Don't tell anybody. 
We'll create our own sandbox and it will be our sand resource. So we have enough mortar. We have enough... We'll have enough sand. I know we have enough stone rock shards because... Um, when we created no. that first mine. We created the first mine. We gave away a bunch of rock shards, but or we traded for horses. But we also, uh, since then, I think mined out a couple of tiles. Or do, did we do? Did we get around to doing that? We had to surface mine. Ah, uh, that's what it was. The rocks down, and we got a whole <laughs> bunch more rocks out of that. How did I forget? <laughs> that we just did that last episode. I know. Oh. So we got a lot of rock shards from that. Well, more than enough. We just need to turn those into stone bricks. All right, uh, and then we're, we're golden. We just got to do that. So let's yeah. just head back. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how long that's going to take or yeah. where exactly we are because it's kind of dark. So <laughs> let's just go and go this way and hope for the best yeah I think I mean in terms of houses we sort of talked about the basics we talked about you know their benefits um, you know one thing we were just talking about designing and the limitations you know I wish in this game there were more things to furnish your house with like you can build there's a table and a chair uh, you can build a couple chairs, make a little seating area, but it's kind of like decorative. You can't actually use them. Uh, there's nothing you can do to change the... Like, you can't hang anything on the walls or... That's something I wish you could do. Uh, one thing that you can do to customize your house is uh, change the floor tiles, but there's really only about four or five different floor tiles at the moment. When Worm 1.0 comes out... Uh, we talked about before I've heard rumors that things are going to you know, change we'll see yeah, how so if you guys are watching this after Worm 1.0 comes out which right now it's uh, it's expected to be out sometime in the new year early new yeah, year then we're going to sound like we're like well we walked up hills both ways and <laughs> winter lasted 30 days and yeah we'll well, be the old timers then this video would have a couple extra things that we know of. One, multi-story. Ah, so if I we if we pretended uh, <coughs> that is where 1.0 would be, we'd say, uh, <laughs> don't forget to build. <laughs> like we need a lot more materials to do this multi-story yeah, thing. Yeah, if this and you know what? What's great is that what from the sounds of it, the house that we're building right now mm -hmm. will be. Like we will be able to turn it into a multi-story building after, um, after the update happens. I feel like, from what I hear, though, it's going to be a lot of materials, way more than what we're like. We're taking a few hundred stone bricks and a few hundred, you know, mortar. Mm -hmm. That's not that's nothing compared to what it's going to be to build multi-story houses, from what I hear. Yeah. Well, we'll find out eventually. Uh oh, that uh, was in a crocodile. Oh, and we're going but with multi-story, I'm expecting people to build epic, epic buildings. I don't. I mean, doubt our it. our building there, what sixty some odd skill. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, one thing that's increasing, I think, the skill requirement for this house is the divot in the back for the mine. Right. Imagine it's a lot if more we tiles. just went straight across. Yeah. Because um, did we mention the the formula? I can't remember. We did not. Yeah. The skill required to build a house is the number of the number of tiles that the house encompasses, mm -hmm. plus the number of walls. So if you add the number of tiles that are inside the house to the number of walls that are around the house. That is your minimum skill required to build that house. So our house there is 65 skill, but if we didn't have that mine pathway in the back there, and we just yeah. went straight across, you know, all those walls that are coming back, that would, this house would be a much easier one to build. 
So you can imagine, let's say somebody with a 90 or more skill in carpentry, and they plant a house that's square-ish or rectangular. Uh, it could be quite large. Or masonry. Don't forget or about masonry. that. <laughs> and then you tack on the, um, the fact that multi-story is coming. So not only are you going to have epically large houses, you're going to have epically tall houses. Can't Good wait. Castles. Can't wait. You put large uh, stone walls around the entire thing, it'll be like a big castle. <laughs> Sorry, and we're almost back, I think. I can kind yeah. of see... Yep, there, there, there it is. <coughs> so what else do we need? We need rocks. Um, I mean, everything... That journey really pretty much got everything that we need. We have everything else. Uh, yeah, we managed to get uh, some planks in between the episodes and mm -hmm. I mean we do need nails though but other yeah. than that like you need stone bricks and I don't think we've really covered how to get stone brick other than Thanks. that it's something to do with rocks right so let's go into our mine and what I'd want oh my god is that <coughs> really that crocodile still following yeah, he, us yeah he followed us the whole way because we were going uphill let's take him out Who's he on? Is he on you or me? He's on me. Okay. How's your health? So far so good, although I don't have any stamina. Oh, that's fine. You don't need stamina. We were talking about a little bit about how we wanted to... Uh, in our mind, we kind of made a pathway, but we wanted to open it up a little bit. So that could be a way for us to get the rest of our rock shards. Whoa, here comes the venerable. Venerable what? Crocodile. Oh, uh, is it next to you? It's next to me. It's on this guy, this um, guy's bleeding. This is I'm great. okay. I'm holding up. Venerables though are pretty nasty. Nice. Where's this guy? Oh, he's on the edge there. A little closer. <laughs> now I can't see him. Oh. There we go. I, I saw a champion crocodile around here. I was kind of hoping it would come in or wrestle. Yeah. It's just wandering around. Yeah. It'll, it'll come back, I'm sure. So, like I was saying, if we just opened up our mine a little bit, gave us a little you know, mine man cave. Man cave and then we can use, I bet we'd have enough uh, stone bricks after that to cover the rest of the house. Sure. So I think we should do that. We should definitely... While I agree, like I, I do want to open up that mine a little bit. Maybe find another ore vein or two. Um, we'll do I that. Think we'll do that in between. Yeah, yeah, we'll episodes. do that. Yeah, episodes, yeah. That's still right now, I mean, let's spend the rest of the time Ooh, in our mind. Disembark. Yeah. <coughs> Show you a, a few stone bricks, and I think we can end it. Oh, yeah. With us just cutting some stone. Let's do it. So, here's some of the rock shards. We have 300. All right. Yeah, and then the other one we have a few, so I'm pretty sure we have Old enough storage bin. Let's just remove. Uh, I guess five. You need a stone chisel, right? Mm-hmm. It's a good thing I'm a blacksmith, because otherwise we would yeah. have really crappy tools. Yeah, we'll cover how to make one of those in our future crafting episode, our blacksmithing episode. That'll be your episode. Can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> That's not my episode. <laughs> All right. So rock shard. So you just right click the rock shard. How do you do this here? Ooh. Yep. You activate your stone chisel. Right click the rock shard. You can make a whole bunch of stuff. Yep. What do and I got here? When you're stone looking brick. for it's a stone brick. Ooh, I've got 99% chance at that stone brick. <laughs> you are the mason. That I am. And as you can see. Down here, it's just going, uh, the timer's going up, telling me how long it's going to take me to make a stone brick. Uh, because I clicked on, you know, the five rock shards, uh, it's queued up 
all five of them. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> You'll get there I only eventually. get four. Uh, we'll talk about that in another episode. I've got a nice episode coming that's going to talk a lot more about all the cool tips and tricks that we may have not gotten to and a lot of stuff that, you know, all the comments that we're getting that we may uh, have been missing. I mean, all the stuff that we've been missing in these episodes and I'm sure there's a bunch. But until then, thank you guys for watching another episode of Saturday Night Factional Fight Plays Worm Online. Guaranteed we'll have all the materials necessary for next episode. We will build this house. We will build this house. We'll just keep <laughs> chanting that until we build this house for you guys. So until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in Worm Online. Have a good one.